All right. Uh, I thought I'd show you a, a hack I did on my um, on my microscope. Uh, it's a nice microscope. It's a Serio. Uh, it didn't have a ring light though. And in the old days, uh, you used to get ring lights that were a little fluorescent tube that wrapped around. But uh, you can get LED ring lights these days. And I'll show you a cheap way to do that. Um, so uh, you can see the uh, you can see the ring light here. Um, gives nice. Uh, gives nice lighting, um, and you can get these for just a dollar or two. Uh, so let me show you a uh, let me show you an eBay listing. So the trick is to search on um, Angel Eyes. So the, the some of the cars, uh, starting with the BMWs, uh, had a ring light in the uh, uh, headlights, um, and you can get these. Uh, replacements or upgrades or whatever. They're just a circuit board with a ring of LEDs on them with uh, resistors uh, so they run off of 12 volts. So here uh, you're getting two, uh, two of them, uh, 50 millimeter uh, diameter. Uh, again they run off of 12 volts um, and uh, you're getting them for two dollars. So, so they're a dollar each. Um, so that's a, that, that, that's a pretty cheap ring light. So you need some way of mounting the LED. Um, I have a piece of uh, 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 Lexan here um, that I turned on my lathe, and it's just a uh, a ring that fits the the lens that's on this microscope. So it, it's a snug fit on the lens. It's it's a press fit on the lens, and then uh, the uh, the little uh, angel eye uh, PC board just sets on top of it. In fact, it's held on by a couple of screws, but you can't really see it here. But uh, anyway, that gives uh, that gives a nice mounting system. So you'll need some way to power the uh, power the ring light. And for a while, I just would hook up one of my lab power supplies. Uh, but then I decided to go ahead and make it uh, uh, make it battery powered. Uh, so there's a lithium battery here. Uh, there's a, a DC to DC converter to 12 volts. Um, there's a LED monitor for the uh, battery voltage and then the uh, battery charge uh, circuits down here. Um, so I'll, I'll show you the components I used to build this. Uh, I stole this battery out of something I bought at uh, some electronic thing that I had. It, it's like a 600 milliamp hour battery, uh, 3.7 volt lithium. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll show you the, show you the parts. All right, so here are the parts. This is just a, a, some kind of random battery. This one's a 3.7 volt battery also. This one is uh, 800 milliamp hours. Um, and then you'll need a, a, a DC to DC converter. Uh, this is one made out of a LM2596, uh, is that right? Uh, I don't magnifying glass. Uh, that's right. Um, and so it does a good it does a good job, and then you'll need a, a charging circuit, and uh, there's a couple available. Um, this is the one I think I'm using here, um, and it's a charging circuit, uh, five volts in, and uh, you put your battery across here, and it handles all of the uh, handles all the charging. Um, sometimes your battery has a protection circuit in it, and sometimes your battery doesn't have a protection circuit in it. So if you have a protection circuit, then you don't need this. Uh, protection circuits to make sure that the battery doesn't go below, say, 2 volts. Uh, make sure it stops. Um, if you don't have a, a battery with a, uh, um, a monitor in it, then you can get this kind of board, which is the exact same, the exact same circuitry as, as this one, but it has extra circuitry on the back. And this extra sec circuitry on the back is the uh, p uh, protection uh, circuitry for the uh, battery. So the battery goes across the B terminals and then the output is the voltage terminal. So, um, I mean, these things are dirt cheap too. They're like 50 cents each or something. So put together a real nice little system.